until the start of the 2024 Paris Olympic Games. Remember to download the Sportsmax app to watch the games. Welcome back to the Sportsmax Zone and it's officially, as I said, Olympics week. We're only a few days away from the opening ceremony of this year's Paris Olympic Games and here on the Zone, we continue our build-up with our final edition of Memory Monday. For today's Olympic feature, both myself and Lance have been given the opportunity to share and talk about our most memorable Olympic moments. So do I allow Lance to go first? Let's see what do we have here. Okay, no, my producer says ladies first. So it's my turn and Lance, for me, it has to be Elaine's double, double Olympic gold medal win at the 2020 Tokyo Olympic Games. I remember when it happened. I mean, it's just a couple of years ago, but it's still etched in my mind. I can remember how exactly I felt when she did that. Um, I just remember the storyline of her manifesting it because afterwards we saw she wrote the times and what she wanted. So for me, it's a beautiful story and i'm very sad that you won't be at this year's olympics but yeah this is my moment look at it lance yeah elaine is out front um it's as if well it's just between shelly and elaine there and yeah i love it well, that was that was the 100 one two three for jamaica correct and then she came back and won the 200 as well so and for the, for the second time in a row, for the second Olympic Games in a row, which was history. It no, was magical. Yeah, no woman had ever done that before. So this was, I understand this being your favorite memory of the Olympics, as, as, as recent as it may have been. Yeah, that's all right, because <laughs> you have to remember, I mean, I, have, I had moments growing up as a child, right, yeah. that I liked. But for me, th this, something about this, I think if you ask me about this moment, mm -hmm. years from now, it might still be my um, most memorable moment just because of everything surrounding the wins. Yeah, and remember heading into the Tokyo Olympics, she wasn't 100% physically the best. So there was some worry or concern from her fans that she wouldn't have been able to emulate what she had done in Rio five years before that. So. Um, it was tremendous, to be honest. I, you know, as a Caribbean journalist, this certainly ranks very, very high up there as among the most memorable moments that we have seen in, in Caribbean sporting history, not just the Olympic Games. Yeah. Now, what about yours? I don't know what's yours because you've done so much Olympics. You have like a wider scope than me. Yeah. What's yours? Well, let me start by saying that watching the 96 Atlanta Olympics with Dion Hemmings winning the hurdles, 400 hurdles, was my first seeing a Caribbean athlete winning a gold medal at the Olympic Games. Okay, live. But, but Yeah, live. But this Usain Bolt 2008 world record run in the 100 meters was unbelievable. Yeah. And if I put all of my top moments into a bag and decide which one would be the top one, that one aces it for me because... I was doing commentary, Mariah, and I couldn't believe what I was seeing. What did you say? Do you remember what you said? I said, I said, I know this was, this was Beijing. Um, I said, I can't remember exactly what I said, no, but I just couldn't believe what I was seeing. I, 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 I it makes it look easy. Usain Bolt makes it look easy. That's what I said at this point when he was approaching the, the finishing line, because a 100 meter race happens at the blink of an eye. So to see one athlete 30 meters before the finish, coasting and, and celebrate, was celebrating, it was, it was unbelievable. I, 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 I mean, I, I knew I said Richard Thompson got a good start, the Trinidad and Tobago yes. sprinter got a good start. But then I said, Bolt comes through and takes command. Bolt makes it look easy. It's 10 seconds, 9.6. <laughs> Uh, seconds you have to, to do commentary on a race so there aren't a lot of words that you'll get in but at this point I said Bolt makes it look easy and I'm, I'm saying those are the words coming out of my mouth 
But those weren't the words that I I I, I thought of in my mind. <laughs> what did you think? I not, not fit, fit for, for airplane. Air? Not fit for airplane. Because <laughs> I, 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 Mariah, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. I I had never in all my life seen a runner win a hundred meter race at a global event with such disdain, because. <laughs> A 100 meter race is so short and fast that you've got to get up and you've got to give everything for the entire 100 meter trip. So to see this man coasting long before the race even ended was unbelievable. So because of that, it's my most memorable moment. But there were some others that were strong, but that, that one tops it for real. It was an Olympic record, world record. It was everything. It, it was it was it was a it was a it was a moment. It was a moment, and the Bird's Nest um, experience, that was the name of the stadium at the, in, in Beijing, was, was magical, and the fans really, really adored Usain Bolt. He was the biggest star of those games, certainly in track and field. Um, Phelps would have been big in the swimming pool as well, but the, the, the manner of the win and the fact that he ran a world record and made it look so easy was just mind-blowing. And um, when people say Usain Bolt is the greatest sprinter of all time, that is one of the reasons why people say that. Because people don't break world records look, looking the way he did. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was magical. Yeah. Well, you know, he's not on the show today, but we couldn't leave out our dearest Ricardo Chambers and his most memorable Olympic moment. So let's see what he chose. He said Veronica Campbell Brown's 200 meter gold medal at the 2004 Athens Olympic Games. Mm. Are you shocked by his choice, Lance? Ah, uh, shocked? No, no, I wouldn't say I was shocked. Um, Ricardo would have been a pretty young chap at this point. Young so, chap. Yeah, yeah. So he, 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 at this point would have th these kinds of events in 2004 would have had would have been written would have written indelible memories in his mind and i think part of the reason why he likes this race so much is because alison felix the american had threatened veronica campbell brown so much in this race campbell brown comes off the curve in front and felix on her inside comes chasing and um in in my in my commentary at this point when she repels the challenge i think i said something like um Campbell Brown shows her class or stamps her class or something, some words to that effect, because 50 meters out, she looked a little bit threatened because Felix was gaining on her. But um, Campbell Brown found something extra. And at this point in her career, she was a real Jamaican favorite, Veronica Campbell Brown. And in 2004, um, uh, it was a, a, a high point of her career. So. I, I, I can understand why Ricardo has that as his favorite or his most memorable Olympic moment because it was, it was pretty special. Yeah. Well, we're going to take a break, but I'm just reminding our viewers, and I'm going to keep reminding you until you remember that the Olympics just two days away, Lance, and it'll be live on Sportsmax, and they can download the Sportsmax app. Yeah, and we have to remind them that the official opening ceremony starts on Friday, but in the schedule, you will see something called minus two and minus one. Okay. In the countdown to the Olympics. So day one, Olympic ceremony day, is day zero. But they, because football and those tournaments have a lot of games to be played, they have to start the competition before. So Argentina plays Morocco in a men's football match on Wednesday morning. So football actually starts on Wednesday. Okay. And there are other competitions going on on Thursday. All right. Although the opening ceremony and the official start date for the Olympics is on Friday, but the games start Wednesday with men's football. So they basically need the app like now? Yes. Okay, got it. <laughs> you heard from Lance, the Olympic boss. We're taking a break.